so this so this is where American tragedy happened I lived here homeless for five years a little bit over five years and uh, I'm gonna show you the inside There's a stove, and a television, refrigerator. And this is a sleeping area. These are the panels to protect you from uh, radiation from an aircraft. U.S. Air Force. And uh, as each panel gets hit by radiation from either the north or the south, you have to slide the panels around and block them out. And when, uh, when radiation gets past those and hits the other panel, the radiation will actually bounce off and, and hit you. So you have to remove that tile so that uh, the radiation just keeps right on going. Otherwise, you're going to get cooked like you were in a microwave. And so that's how I've been living since um, the fall of 2019. And uh, this is a basic look around the inside of the house. My clock. This box kind of isolates a lot of the uh, heat uh, that builds up during the day and deflects it to the front of the house. And in the summertime, I'll have a fan here. And over there, we got a air conditioner. Uh, the hot summers but I have to move out of here now and um, so this is where I lived for a little over five and a half years and um, I've been irradiated out of that time period about three and a half years uh, from uh, 2015 to 2016 and then there was a year and a half break in uh, any operations like that and then uh, it started up about the summer of 2017 and hasn't let up since. But it got so bad in 2019, uh, towards the end of the year, that I had to put these uh, tile panels in and uh, develop some way to keep them from falling uh, off the bed area when I slept at night time. So I devised this frame set up so that, uh, that the, pan the panels could slide and be held up good at nighttime. But like I said, if any radiation from the radar system makes it through uh, that wall and hits here, it deflects down into the bed area. And so you have to remove that panel and put it on the other side of the room to block out any radiation that might be coming in. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this place isn't far from where the Japanese internment camps were uh, in World War II, a processing center near Camp Kohler. And uh, here, 75 years later, they're radiating an American because they disagree with my uh, politics or uh, demand that they uh, adhere to the Constitution as we knew it as children. And that hasn't been done. And so I'm moving out of here. Uh, they may keep irradiating this shed for some time now uh, after I leave. But I won't be here. But I'll tell you one thing, if you ever get caught in a situation like this, being irradiated, you will become sick within 30 seconds or less. And if you don't get out of the rain or block it out with some type of ceramic tile, 
because I haven't found anything else that works as good. Uh, you will be in the hospital and you will you will be terminated. So leave that as a warning to you that uh, uh, 18 by 18 inch piece of tile can block out an aircraft that's a mile or two miles away for a half an hour. But you got to keep moving the tile in front of where it's hitting. And the ray isn't any bigger than about uh, your hand, really. And so uh, you can block it out. But uh, the disruptive sleep pattern affects your entire life. Uh, I was going to school over at American River College. Uh, it destroys your sleep pattern and you get a shitty attitude uh, about life and it's not a comfortable position to be in. Anyway, my name is Tracy Mapes and uh, this is the life I've been living for the last five and a half years. Thanks.